Hello, and welcome to Character Design Analysis with Miles Seawind. Today we are covering a character who is from a game near and dear to my heart, Travis Touchdown from No More Heroes. Let's get started. So, Travis Touchdown was a character designed by the artist Yusuke Kozaki. He is a very, very interesting artist who did a lot of artwork online and on DeviantArt back in the day until he got uh, work. He got work in manga, he got work in anime, and he got work in games. And he worked a lot with Suda51, with his No More Heroes series, and eventually got work as a character designer for Nintendo with the Fire Emblem games. And one thing that is a constant theme throughout his artwork is his characters have style. They look stylish. Style is one thing that is very difficult to balance in character design. And it's something you can appreciate, but also his characters are very, uh, I would say, utilitarian in a sense. Nothing in their character design inhibits their movement in a way that would make it difficult to do what they do, especially because a lot of his characters are designed to fight. A lot of his characters uh, that he's designed are in pretty uh, violent stories, such as No More Heroes. And um, as we go through, we'll see that his characters definitely stand out in terms of their fashion sense, specifically Travis. Travis is a very interesting enigma of a character. Um, but everything about Travis's design lends to both him looking cool and him having free movement. So this is artwork of Travis from the cover of No More Heroes 1. He has his beam katana right there. And his outfit, he has his jacket, his glove on one hand. He's got an asymmetrical design thing, which I do really like, but it's not taken out of control. As we'll see in other images of Travis, um, in different poses and in different things, you'll see that his design does not look too unbalanced. He's got a belt here with a pocket there on his belt for items. Everything about Travis's design gives off a sense of self-important cool. He's got these sunglasses, these yellow shades, and he's got this coat. Now, as we go over to other artworks of Travis, we just go, let's see here, this one, this is a, I believe this is an artwork of Travis from No More Heroes 2. Oh, this is from one, this is from one. His, our, his design changes a little bit, and we'll go over that um, in the second game. But one thing that's notable is that the beam katana and a lot of Travis's clothing are interchangeable within game, so you can change how he looks. But the same design sense remains the same. So the only two things that are not really mirrored on Travis's character design are his belt pocket right here and his glove. Everything else is mirrored, and his pants are ripped. That is a distinction there. But because of the glove and the belt pocket being the only two things in his design that aren't mirrored, they stand out more. And they draw your attention to, especially the glove draws your attention to his arm where he wields his beam katana. Now, one thing I really like about Travis, uh, which is a very common character design trope, and you'll see this a lot in character design. Travis has the hero colors. The hero colors are a color scheme that have been prevalent throughout, uh, especially modern history. You got red, white, and blue, and yellow. Yellow is usually an accent color for this color scheme. Um, you can see this color scheme in a lot of things. A lot of superheroes have this color scheme, like Superman. Um, is the primary example I would say of this or Gundam Gundam has this color scheme constantly it also rep it also has a American sort of theming to it America really likes 
the hero color scheme that they have, and it's in the flag as well. Um, and it kind of breaks up his design to different parts. Like the yellow is his head, the red is his body, and the blue is his legs. It really breaks up his design into a very readable way, which is useful in-game to see where people are aiming at you. Again, very, very nice design, and it makes sense as something someone would actually wear, as opposed to some other action game characters, which can look ridiculous with what, with how insane their designs are. Let's grab this one, let's move it up. This is a lower quality example of what Travis looks like. Now one thing that's interesting about Travis's design is that in almost every cutscene, because you can customize Travis, he can look different, but even without you changing anything, he'll change his shirts, and all of his shirts underneath his jacket have different anime characters on them, or different weird otaku shit going on. And you'll see that as a theme throughout No More Heroes. One thing that is very... that does set Travis's design apart, he does look kind of plain, in terms of how much detail is in his design. That does make it more memorable as a design if you have more detail, but it can also lead to your design looking overly complicated. Now, you'll see in the second game, there's one character design element that is in the first game that becomes more prevalent. Here's a rip of him from the second game. Right, we'll put him right over here. So you can see Travis, right here has the belt loop on his right leg to more differentiate the sides of him. The right arm being his arm where he wields weapons, he is right handed, and the belt draws attention to his leg. It sort of gives a flow for whenever he's in a combat pose, he usually will spread his legs out. Like you saw at the beginning with the first image from the first game, I don't know if I can find that again. Well, here's another one from No More Heroes 2. You can see when he attacks, he puts all of his weight into his body. He's always moving his legs. So this wrap around his leg kind of draws attention to the motion of his body. And you can see in this design right here, right on his back, he has a tiger print thing going on. That is also in the first game, but it's a different tiger print design. I'll show you that in a second. But one thing that's interesting about Travis is that he has this whole tiger motif going on, which is n more apparent if you understand Japanese and how his name is pronounced in Japanese. Uh, the Japanese word for tiger is Tora. And, uh, the way his name is pronounced in Japanese is Torabasu Tachudan. So they got the Torah in there, and that kind of leads to this whole tiger comparison thing going on. So let me show you some images of Travis's character design. This is his jacket right here. You can see this is from the No More Heroes 1 design. Um, you can see the pockets. He has more pockets in back. Um, you got the tiger print right here, leading in, and that makes his jacket, specifically his jacket, memorable. And one thing that I like about Travis's design is that it says a lot about his character. He's a tryhard, he wants to be cooler than he actually is. And you can see that he's wearing leather jackets, he's wearing one glove on one hand, He's wearing these ripped jeans. He's trying to look like a cool guy, while he's also wearing dumb anime t-shirts underneath. Um, <laughs> which, it does say a lot about his character. It, it looks like he's trying really hard. And it works for making him look cool to us as the audience, but it also leads to uh, a closer examination of the themes of No More Heroes, about death, and um, 
wasting your life with things that don't matter. Which I think is a very, very strong, very strong theme of the game. Let's bring this up. So, another thing that people have pointed out before is that Travis does look like Mugen from Samurai Champloo, and there's, there's, um, there's some, there's some truth to that, I believe. Okay. He does look like Mugen from Samurai Champloo. He has a similar color scheme, the hero color scheme, as we, we've named it before. He's got the same color, a similar way of breaking up the body with different colors. Now, <clears throat> the hero color scheme is not my favorite color scheme, and I don't think it's perfect in every sense, but it does convey a very strong sense of passion. Like, red as a color generally is used as a color of passion, and if it's the primary color of your design is drawn the most attention to it, it's very much indicative of the character's emotional turmoil. Now, it's not always portrayed like that, and it doesn't have to be, but generally, as a trope throughout the ages, red is a color of passion and a color of violence generally, which is why it was chosen as Travis's primary color, because that's a lot of what he's about is violence. <laughs> so yeah. And the interesting thing about Mugen is that Suda51, the creator of No More Heroes, also worked on a Samurai Champloo game, and he is a very big fan of Samurai Champloo. So it's quite possible that Travis's design is directly referenced from Mugen, and also considering that Travis in-universe in the games is this big, big otaku, it could be possible that he was inspired by Mugen's design to create his own assassin outfit for when he does go and fight people as an assassin. And as we stated before, my boy, the, the artist, Yusuke Kozaki, he also worked on Fire Emblem Awakening, and Fire Emblem Awakening has, they have similar character design sense, and this is the strength of Koizumi, Kozumi, as I will have said before, all of his character designs do look quite memorable and stylish. They have generally one unique thing going on like you can see Krom here with his plate on his left arm but not on the right arm but at the same time all of his characters do not have inhibited movement you can see that these characters while they have flashy fashionable designs that would be a little overkill for like the setting of Fire Emblem which is you know a fantasy uh, a fantasy medieval world to an extent that this would be a little flashier than you'd expect in a realistic setting but at the same time none of it would get in the way of being able to do combat and that is a very utilitarian sort of sense of design that I really do love from this artist so yeah Travis is a cool guy, and I really do love No More Heroes, but is this design worth praising as a standout feature of No More Heroes? Whereas in No More Heroes, there are other designs that you could debate are more memorable or thought out. Well, I do think Travis is very memorable in several ways. And as we've gone over before, the simplicity of his design highlights a lot, a lot about his character. So, I think I would give him a decent score. Give him memorable, a 
memorable out of 10. Very memorable character. Again, if you find anything about this video that I could work on, uh, I would like to know. I'm trying to improve as quickly as I can, and I do want to find a pipeline where I can make these quickly, but also still be useful enough for people to find uh, a valuable resource. So if you can please comment, tell me what you want to hear. Um, there will be music in this one. The last one I tried to put music in and it seems like it didn't work, so I'm going to be doing it in post. Uh, yeah. Come back on Monday and you'll probably see me see, see me post some shit post about Megami Tensei. And don't worry, the character design analysis series will still continue. It's just getting started. You have a wonderful day.